guys and welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new product that I picked up from my Dollar General, my local Dollar General store. And this is from the African Pride brand. They released a new line called Moisture Miracle. This line has several different options that you can definitely choose from that fit your natural hair needs. Now, I've always been a fan of African Pride. I've used their products before, and I will say that I'm very well pleased. I've never had a problem with any of their products. Now, this particular collection that they have released is crafted for specific needs of coily and curly textures. Every product is made with a signature blend of rich ingredients of African origin, specifically selected to deliver intense moisture and the benefits you need in every step of your natural routine. Each of these products contain no parabens, no mineral oils, no sulfates, and no petroleum. And each of these items are 12 fluid ounces each. I'm very excited I have the opportunity to give them a try for you and review them for you and also to do a demo. Now the first product in their collection is the Honey and Coconut Oil Shampoo. This product is designed to nourish and shine, hydrate, and elongate natural curls and coils. It's sulfate free and it's color safe. The coconut oil deeply conditions and hydrates and helps repair. The honey naturally retains moisture and adds shine. The next item in their collection is the honey, chocolate, and coconut oil. This is the conditioner. And this product claims to nourish and restore. It helps to repair and replenish moisture to the natural coils and curls. Also sulfate free and color safe. Now after using the shampoo, you do have to leave the conditioner on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse out thoroughly. The coconut oil deeply conditions and hydrates and helps repair. The honey naturally retains moisture and adds shine. And the cacao powder or chocolate restores and prevents damage and helps promote hair growth. And the last product I got in their collection is the Shea Butter and Flaxseed Oil. This is the Moisture and Define Curling Cream. This product is intended to shape, hydrate, and add shine to your natural curls and coils. The Shea Butter deeply moisturizes and helps strengthen and protect your hair. And the flaxseed oil provides natural hold and restore shine. This curling cream is great for twist outs, braid outs, finger coils, rod sets, and wash and goes. So I have my hair in a previous style. I'm about to take it down right now so I can get started on this wash day. Super excited to try each of these products to see how they work for my hair. And at the end of the video, I will give you my thorough thoughts and opinions on each of these products. So without further ado, let's get started.
using all the products and I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on each one of these items starting with the shampoo now the shampoo claims it is nourishing it gives shine hydrates elongates natural coils and curls and I must say that it is true to the description so everything that it says that it was going to do it did for my hair I did feel some other benefits such as slip had really great slip with this product it was very detangling I did not have to use a wide tooth comb or any styling tools just to be able to detangle my hair I simply used my fingers and I was able to glide through my hair all my kinks and coils and the shampoo was easily detangling my hair strands as I went along with the shampoo it felt very cleansing on my hair my hair my hair felt very clean it did feel very moisturizing just like the product in the brand and line is meant for very moisturizing I did feel the moisture I did feel the hydration of the ingredients the products on my hair so definitely you know true to the benefits that it does give you that moisture it makes your hair feel really soft very manageable as you're shampooing your hair to get it prepared for the conditioning part of it and of course it smelled really great there was a very pleasant a scent to it it's not an overbearing strong smell it's very light fragrance and it's, it smells really good so I was really pleased with the smell of this product what I like most about the shampoo is as soon as it made contact with my hair it was very lathering extremely lathering on contact so the, the lather latherization of this product is really really great it was very easy to get the product dispensed out of the bottle so I didn't have any problems getting the product out of the bottle into my hand into my hair so no problems there I did notice it was making my hair and my curls pop as I was shampooing my hair so I really like that feature about this product now the consistency of the shampoo it, it's slightly runny it is very um, it's it's liquidy it's not a thick consistency it's very smooth it's not tacky it's not sticky because these products they do have uh, honey in them so they're not sticky products at all the packaging of this product also is really nice just a very you know I don't, I don't want to say simple but it just has a nice very elegant look to it compared to the other um, products that Africa Pride has uh, I will say this one does stand out it, it doesn't have like the orange and the white colors that you would normally see uh, and uh, with African Pride for the benefits my hair got out of this product I would definitely repurchase this shampoo again now for the conditioner and I'm trying to make this quick because my battery's about to die the purpose of the conditioner is to nourish and restore and repair and replenish uh, the moisture to your coils and curls now upon contact of this product initially I kind of was like uh I don't know if my hair is liking this product and it could be because of the chocolate or the, the cocoa that's in here the cacao powder or chocolate uh, that's in here um, the roots of my hair felt very moisturized when I was applying the product to my hair but as I got to the ends my ends started feeling a little rough with this product so I had to keep kind of putting it on and I don't know if my hair was maybe kind of drying out I don't know uh, but it was still wet because I just washed out the shampoo so I don't know what was going on but um I think with the repair and the replenish when it says repair for some reason I think there's some protein in here um and that may have something to do with it i don't know um i'll have to take a look at the at the ingredients again but um i could definitely smell the chocolate in here it, it does have a light chocolatey smell so it wasn't overpowering anything like that um it did feel moisturizing to an extent i would not give it a full five stars when it comes to the moisture uh, i would give it maybe a three and a half four the max um I just felt like I just had to keep putting it on my hair um, but it was still good it was still moisturizing um, it's it's very messy because you know it just it's just like chocolate all over your hands is what it feels like um, so you know if you got something white on you know I would suggest putting on uh, a t-shirt that has co a color t-shirt I would suggest you know wearing a color t-shirt or a color towel and don't put on anything white just in case it might stain or something like that it didn't really give me that that good slip that I look for in a conditioner it had it had some slip but it wasn't the best slip uh, with this product I could detangle my hair with my fingers so I did not have to use any styling tools so I was happy about that because at first I was like it was a little iffy but I did not have to use any styling tools for the ease of use I will say that the product is very thick in the bottle so it was a little difficult trying to get it to squeeze it out of the bottle so I had to keep hitting the bottle just to get it out so I would like for this product to be in a pump but it's okay I, I was able to still get it out 
but it is thick in the bottle. Now, when you squeeze it out, it is definitely very uh, creamy uh, texture, very creamy consistency. It's not tacky. It's not sticky um, at all. So it, it's, um, it feels like melted chocolate is what it feels like. Now, as far as the packaging, it's pretty much the same as the shampoo. You got the same little you know, snap up and down top there, and you know, same color, same label, so yeah, very nice packaging. Now with the conditioner, I will say that you would have to, well at least I had to really work the conditioner out of my hair really well, because it seems like it wasn't kind of coming out as good, so I had to really work it, so I had to make sure that the water was nice and clear, because as you're washing it out, of course, it's going to have like this this chocolatey, it's almost like a, a, a chocolate, um, it's like a grayish type of color, like a chocolatey gray color, if it makes sense. But uh, the more you wash your hair, once the water is nice and clear, then you know the product is completely out of your hair. Would I buy the conditioner again? Um, I probably would buy the conditioner again. Um, it's not, like I said, right up there with, you know, my ultimate top conditioners. But it is still a really great conditioner. And for the price, I mean, you can't really beat that. So it works really great, you know, with the shampoo. They definitely complement each other. So, yeah, I would buy the, the conditioner again, sure. So I sound like I'm trying to convince myself. But, no, I, I would buy the, the conditioner again along with the shampoo. Now, the last product is the curling cream, Moisturize and Define. This product is supposed to moisturize and define your hair. Now, did I get that? No, I did not get that. I definitely got the moisture, but this is not a holding type of a, a curling cream like you think it would be. Um, this was, to me, my to me, this was more like a leave-in conditioner is, is what this was. And I, I was debating on whether to get the leave-in conditioner or to get the curling cream. So I said, well, let me get the curling cream because I have a lot of leave-in conditioners. Did it give me shape? No, it did not give me the shape. Did it give me the hydration? Yes, it did give me the hydration. Um, it did give some, some shine, uh, but it definitely gave me the hydration and the moisture in my hair. This, again, this to me felt more like a leave-in conditioner, just a conditioner, more so than a, uh, I guess, a styling type of a curling cream. I, I have my hair in these little bantu knots, but I'm not really doing a twist out. I, I just put it in this... Um, and this style just for to dry overnight but I'm I'll have it styled completely different tomorrow and then it did feel like it was penetrating my hair I probably won't buy this one not to say it's not good this is good but um, it didn't give me what it claimed to give me which was um, which was shape to my hair so I guess I was thinking this product was going to defy my curls but it's not. Um, I'm not really sure what a curling cream is because it didn't curl my hair. It didn't give it any further definition than it already had. Not like I said, it's not. It's not that it's a bad product. It is a good product, and I would recommend it. But it's more for my hair. It's more of a leave-in conditioner feel. Um, all three of these products are great. Um, I will recommend purchasing all of these. Now this. Line has some other products as well. There is a there is a detox mask and there's a pre-poo and there's an oil. And I had to go to three different dollar stores to find these products, just to find just these three. Like this is not even the whole line. So not all of the dollar stores apparently carry this line. So it's hard to find these items and it's even harder to find all of them in one setting in the store. So I'll be checking some other dollar stores to see if I can find the pre-poo as well as the uh, mask. But a little of this curling cream goes an extremely long way. You do not need that much or your hair is gonna take forever for this stuff to dry. It, it definitely has a, a, a just straight shea butter smell. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching my demo and review on the African Pride Moisture Miracle products. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share my content and to help me grow my channel. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Bye.